ever see little kids lately, like 10 year olds, 12 year olds? They're all wearing like American Eagle and like Hollister, like shirts now. I have no, why are they, I don't know what they're trying to accomplish there. They're walking around all cocky and like tough. I see him, like, what are you doing? Are you trying to get some with your outfit? Like, you don't even know what it is. Like, why? What are you doing? Like, like, little kids are supposed to dress crazy, you know, so you can see them in the grocery store and laugh, you know? <laughs> see this kid, he's got, like, pajama pants, rain boots that are, like, huge for no reason. It's, like, sunny as shit out. Like, a cowboy hat, and you're like, oh, this class. Now, all these little kids are pricks. They're, like, hanging out at the mall. You see, like, 12 of them. They're, like... Little like 12 year olds, they got like ripped jeans on, Abercrombie polos, their hair's like gelled, or they got like a hat backwards. You're like, oh cool, I didn't know the seventh grade had fraternities, but <laughs> awesome. I just want to go up and like fuck with them, like, oh cool, uh, what frat are you in? Uh, ZBT? TKE? MICKUI? You're 12, you know what I mean? That's your frat. That's your frat. Douchebags. <laughs> Speaking of, speaking of douche, like this is a weird topic, but I hope you guys are with me on this. Come with me on this odd journey. Why are like douches still on the market? Like why are they, cause like, I don't know if guys know this, but as girls, like we're taught in health class that they're not actually good, they're like bad things. Like they're not healthy, it's not good. So I want to know why they're still like a product. Like, is it are they like cigarettes? Like women are addicted to them? Or, like, that's why they're still like pushed on people. Like there are women that are, like can't have a cup of coffee without a douche. <laughs> <laughs> gotta take douche breaks at work. <laughs> it's gotta be something like that. Like imagine hearing that conversation. Just like I, um, I really wish I could kick this douche thing. <laughs> I really wish they had like a patch. The gun didn't work for me at all. I don't know what that means. As I wrote it, I was like, I don't know. It sounds disgusting. <laughs> um, so I think birds are like the, the best pets and the worst pets at the same time. They're the worst pets because they're birds. They're like in a cage. They're chirpy and gross. Like, I don't know why you want a bird. But they're the best because there's like an automatic way to make them be quiet. Like you can't make a dog stop barking, but you can make a bird be quiet by just throwing a sheet over the cage. And you want to go to sleep? Like, shut the fuck up, bird! You just throw that shit over it. That's awesome. Like, I don't know why that works, but like, just imagine that working for people. Like, imagine that. Like, people would just be throwing sheets left and right. I was listening to a word people were saying. They're like, shit, draping it. Nothing would get accomplished. The world would just be like one big, silent KKK meeting. Everyone just totally draped. So I'm glad that whole like ape thing coming out happens. Like, all right, you know, he got attacked by the ape because I totally wrote a joke about that too. I saw it. <laughs> do it. I'm gonna do it right now. Here we go. <laughs> Why do people have monkeys as pets? That woman had a her monkey was a she had a monkey as a pet, and then it was, oh, it attacked somebody. Imagine that. What the fuck is your problem? <laughs> That's the worst idea I've ever heard. Like, that's great. I'm glad you can, like, dress them up in a bow tie and teach them to tap dance, but... At the end of the day, you have a, like, very strong psycho. <laughs> Chimpanzees are five times as strong as, like, people, so... When he, like, decides to flip out and stab you with the knife you adorably taught him to use... <laughs> it's your own fault, you ass. <laughs> And the only way I would ever have like a monkey in my life would be like if I owned a bar. You know, I'd have him bounce. <laughs> but not because he's strong, just because like if you got turned away from a bar by a monkey, <laughs> you wouldn't be mad and start shit. You'd be like, oh my god. I'm just gonna go home, call it a night, reevaluate my life. <laughs> Told me I'm not good enough or something. <laughs> all right, what do we got else here? So you guys are all missing the the Oscars. You're all missing that shit because this graphic is on the screen. They <laughs> <laughs> were playing it. But uh, Hugh Jackman is the host of the uh, host of the Oscars. He has a lot of personality. I'm really glad he's hosting it. But uh, I think it'd be like the hardest thing ever to host something like that big because it's hard to host anything. Like you have to like control everything. Like you have to sometimes tell people to hold their applause. Like that was a big thing in like elementary school when you have like assemblies or the principals like telling people to hold their applause, same time. 
and like no one ever would. They were just always clapping. And the principal's like, um, can we please just hold our applause for the end? One big one. <laughs> but no we would. They were just like, I can't. And there was always me. I'm like pushing it. Like, come on. And I wanted to see she's like, please just hold it if we could. I just wanted to kept clapping right when I shouldn't. And see if I could push her as far as she could go. Just like, students, um, it's not that big of a deal. He made the fucking honor roll. You only need an 85. You can stop.